Hi, everybody. I'm John Graydon. I'm an NGH certified trainer of hypnotists. I'm at JohnGraydon.com, working out of the Clearwater Beach, Florida area of Tampa Bay. How do you stop somebody from smoking with hypnosis? Well, it's pretty much the same way that you help people overcome all kinds of challenges. Hypnosis is the process of bypassing the conscious mind, the analytical mind, and talking directly to the subconscious mind. Now, think of the subconscious mind as a 24-hour recorder that's been recording every feeling, thought, smell, sound, sight that you've seen since infancy, since you were born. So this subconscious mind is where all the power is stored. So here's what happens when people are trying to stop weight loss, or, or not trying to stop, they're trying to uh, stop gaining weight, they're trying to cut some weight, they're trying to stop smoking, stop drinking, whatever the issue is. When we induce a good, deep level of hypnosis, of hypnosis, we're able to talk to the subconscious mind in a direct manner. See, people intellectually know they shouldn't smoke. They intellectually know they shouldn't be eating a, a, a box of ice cream every night. That's why when they intellectually try to stop, it doesn't last very long because the issues not on the intellectual conscious mind, it's on the subconscious level. So in a deep hypnotist, hypnosis state, a well-trained hypnotist can regress a client, literally take them back into time to the time they first had the feeling that they associate with the issue that brings them into the office today. Notice I didn't say the first time they smoked because the reason they smoke may have nothing to do with cigarettes. The reason they smoke may have nothing to do with nicotine. The reason they smoke may have to do with something that you can uncover through a regression in hypnosis. When we talk about regression, we're not talking about memory. They're not remembering when this happened. In a good regression session, the client actually is going back into time, feeling younger, feeling the same emotions, feeling the same feelings that they had at that point. And then we can start to negotiate a way to overcome this challenge. There's always this issue of secondary gain with things like smoking. Secondary gain, what does that mean? That means there's a part of this subconscious mind that is getting something out of it. It thinks that smoking is accomplishing something good for the client. That's the secondary gain. Even though it's doing all kinds of damage, there's got to be something going on about that. There's got to be some reason for this to continue happening. So our goal is to go back and find out what that is and then, as I said, negotiate through all that. I'm John Gray, and I hope that helps you understand how hypnosis can help you overcome various issues in your life. Come see me at johngraydon.com for more information. Thank you.